lights on here. All right, we're here with the University of Redlands uh, after the uh, first game on Friday morning. Uh, guys, please introduce yourself, introduce yourself and coach a little bit of your thoughts about the game. Uh, I'm Will Hall. I'm a senior and second baseman. Uh, I'm Chris Bosek. I'm a middle infielder and pitcher. Coach Aaron Hawley. Aaron, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for coming. Coach, a little bit about that game today. Uh, hard fought game. We uh, they take the early lead. We come back. We take the lead. It's been like that all year long against that team. This is our seventh time playing them this year, yeah. and uh, you know, um, I think Adam threw a great game. Um, did a good job. Just you know, a couple of pitches that he probably wants back, but he didn't throw bad. And obviously, Chris giving us a chance there, um, coming in and shutting the door in his innings um, was huge. And uh, I think offensively, um, we missed some opportunities early, doing jobs, getting bunts down. You know, we had bases loaded, so was one out that we pop up. Little things like that where we could have probably added on some runs. And once again, I got a player thrown out at home plate. And so, uh, you know, uh, I take responsibility for that as well. Yeah, I had three instances, the first, the sixth, and the eighth. First and third, runner on third, uh, second and third in that, in that first inning too. So yeah, a couple missed opportunities. Uh, just simply missed opportunities or some uh, pitches that didn't get hit or what do you think? Yeah, I mean, you can't not give the other team credit. They're mm -hmm. a good team um, and they have some arms that uh, are pretty good. You know, they're going to battle, we're going to battle. Um, but we trust ourselves to get jobs done against anybody that we're facing. And so, um, you know, that's how it is in a close game. Like I said yesterday, yeah. you know, it's kind of the team that makes the least amount of mistakes. And, uh, and unfortunately, it didn't go our way. Well, I, I guess for all of you guys, this this has been what, this is kind of the rubber match ultimately. I think you were 3-3 three and three against each other during the year. And, you know, something had to go this time. Right? That's right. And I, and I think you mentioned yesterday, uh, over the course of the last two years, wasn't it six times last year? Yeah, it was six to six over the last two years were, was the record, so now yeah. we're up on a seven six. And you know, as unfitting as it may sound, a one run game, so probably been, how it was going to end. Those with them, so. <laughs> you know? Um, let's see, Chris, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, strong, strong high, two hits over three and two thirds. Uh, one walk, you know, hardly any base runners. Uh, you know, you you have to be happy with the way you pitched. You you kept your team in position. How do you? What was like? I asked some of the pitchers yesterday. What do you think was working for you when you came in? They needed you, and you got going. I felt fairly clean when I went out to the mound for the first time, and the main thing I was focused on was just giving the offense a chance. Yeah. Keeping them in, keeping them down. Yeah. You know, and that's obviously what you did. There you go. Um, Will, you had a nice nice outing today. Just, uh, I mean, some plays in the field too. I mean, you, you did it both the offense and defense. Uh, how do you feel about the, at least the day, the things that you were doing to help him? Um, I mean, I felt pretty good today, but at the end of the day, it's the end of the season, it kind of hurts right now. But I'm just proud of how we battled, how we fought, and just not much I can say about that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have a two-part question um, to start for you, Will. Being a part of this team for four years and you've seen it grow um, and it culminating in getting to go to a regional this season, the farthest that we've gotten under uh, Aaron Holly. What's that mean for you um, as you exit Redlands, being able to leave that legacy? And then for Chris, what does that mean for you as being able to carry that on and see where we've come from and where we are now and what we're capable of? and being able to carry that on in the years to come. Yeah, I mean, looking back four years from now, just all of the senior class, a lot of us were walk-ons. We just meshed so well together. And it took us a while until we all got our opportunities, but when we all came together and we were all out there, we definitely made our mark, and I'm, we made, yeah, we left our legacy here, and we hope that the younger classmen and the juniors continue when we started. 
I think the, the main thing for me really was the seniors this year and uh, just how each and every one of them just kind of took everybody under. And uh, I think that really made like the team really come together and is by far the closest team I've ever been on in my life. And I think that really directly correlates to like the success we've carried out throughout this whole season. And then just last question on an individual note. I know it's tough because it's the end of the year to talk about individual accolades, but if you could shed some light on being able to set an individual record in stolen bases, um, maybe what allowed you to do that this year um, as opposed to years in the past? Um, just more confidence out on the base bats. Uh, I wasn't very tentative this year, and I was just really aggressive and always looked for an opportunity to take the extra base. And hopefully years to come, that's a record that will be broken. But, yeah. Thank you, fellas. Coach, it seemed like in the first part of the, uh, the game, it was uh, perhaps going to be reminiscent of maybe the last time you two guys met. Uh, and then things settled down. What, pitching, or did, did, was it pitching? Was it just like we've talked about missed opportunities? Or what do you think settled the game down from really from both teams? I mean, neither team really did anything after that, that last inning. Yeah. Uh, the fifth. I, it, definitely pitching. I mean, Chris mm -hmm. came and shut them down, and then Cosby came and, sh and shut us down for the, for the most part, you know, and uh, they're both very good pitchers in their own, uh, in their own right. And, uh, you know, now it's, now it's you're trying to scratch and compete and try to grind out runs because you know it's going to be close. Um, and that's ultimately what happened. Yeah, I think both starters obviously probably didn't throw the way that they wanted to throw coming into it. Two of the best pitchers in our conference um, this year, sure. and Tyler Peck and Adam Stead. But at the same time, um, you know, we both have good bullpens as well, and mm -hmm. I think that kind of shows. So. It, it, it seemed to me and that over the last half of the game, though, that your contact with Cosby was right on. It just was right at. Yeah, it and seems. them too. I and mean, they lined out to some guys and, yeah. and had some opportunities as well. But yeah, I mean, I I, I don't think uh, obviously we're not intimidated by anybody, mm -hmm. um, and I think that we had a decent uh, plan against them and were aggressive against Cosby, um, and so yep, just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming in, and uh, I I hope you guys get a chance to walk away with a great feeling about the, the how far you guys came this year. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks.